Welcome to a Blender tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to fix the shading of your objects after a Boolean operation. Let's get started. For demonstration, I create a cylinder, set it to Shade Smooth and enable Auto Smooth in the Object Data properties. In general, most of the time you want to work with Auto Smooth enabled if you work with a smooth shaded object. Before we start with the Boolean operation, it is very important to make a copy of your object. We will need it later for the repair of the normals. Then I proceed with the Boolean operation. I do a Boolean difference cut to take out a piece of the cylinder. So now you see that around the edges of the cutout, the light reflection is a bit off and isn't perfectly in shape. Possibly this could be alright and won't need further repair. But if we use a bevel on the edges for example, which you usually want to do, the shading problem gets a lot worse and the reflection gets distorted and even torn at some spots. Here the serious repair begins. Now the copy of the object from before comes into play. This copy has every shading normal intact, since it hasn't experienced a destructive boolean cut. So we are going to steal its normals on certain areas to override them on our broken object. For this select the faces around the bevel. That are the faces which are still like the original model without the boolean cut. Then go in the object data properties to create a vertex group. Then assign the selected faces to that group. This area will be replaced with new normals. We do this by adding a new modifier which is called data transfer. We pick our copied cylinder as the source and choose the vertex group. We want to change the face corner data, so check its box. Then we want to use custom normals, so select it. The mapping method depends a bit on the individual case, but most of the time the last option projected face interpolated suits best. Now you can see that the shading is perfectly repaired at the problematic spots. But you may spot a shading issue at the bottom of the cylinder. That can happen when you interpolate too close at such a hard edge. But that is no problem. You can just cut through the object with the knife tool on the hotkey K. Then click C to cut through the whole object and limit the cut on an axis with X in my case. Then you click once and press enter. You have now new faces as a buffer zone between the hard edge and the middle area. Just rearrange your vertex group that the new faces on the bottom aren't part of the group. Now the shading looks perfect. I can show you one more trick if you forgot to make a copy of your object. The success rate depends on the shape of the object, but spherical and cylindrical objects are very easy to fix. You make a copy of your already cut object, then you turn your copied object so that the area around the cutout is perfectly overlaid with the backside. And then you do the same thing. You select the faces, create a vertex group and do the data transfer. Because it doesn't matter from where the new normals are coming from. It's only important that they fit very close to the original faces. And that's it. This is how you can fix pretty much every shading problem concerning a boolean operation. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have fun destroying your meshes and see you soon.